are all oils that meet the specs the same? Or maybe another way of saying this, if I have two oils that meet the same spec, should I just pick the cheaper one? That's a really good question because it gets to the heart of how lubricants are often manufactured. So in general, if I wanted to start my own lubricant company tomorrow, let's call it Rafe Zone Oil, I could go to my local distributor for ExxonMobil Chemicals and get a base oil, like a good base oil from it, a very reputable base oil producer. And I could go to Lubrizol, who is a very reputable manufacturer of additives. And I could say, I want to make an engine oil that meets the API CK4 specification. And I would buy base oil X, and I would buy additive pack Y. And if I mix the two together, I have a lubricant, right? So as we know, lubricant is just base oil plus additives. Of course, I need to add scales so I can reduce my costs, but fundamentally, this is all I need to do to create my own lubricant. Now, does that mean that my lubricant, which I mix tomorrow, will be just as good as the mobiles, castrols, and shells of the world? No, and here's why. Let me explain this with cupcakes. Let's say I want to make cupcakes. Cupcakes are pretty simple, right? You have ingredients and you have a recipe. But here's the thing. If you give the same list of ingredients and the same recipe and the same instructions to me and to Jamie Oliver, I guarantee you that you will get different results because there is an art and a science to manufacturing. So as an example, if we were to you know, mix up the batter, right? This is analogous to lubricants mixing. When, when you're manufacturing base oils and additives, you have to make sure that you get a homogeneous mix. I have seen some blenders who basically just pour the two together and hope for the best, right? The, the mixing process is extremely important, particularly with certain additives. So making sure that you're getting that manufacturing step right is absolutely crucial. Just like with cupcakes, we also have the baking process. So I see some lubricant manufacturers who don't heat blend. Now, heating additives as they are blended into the mix is again, another crucial step, just like in baking cupcakes. And so as a result, if I were to bake cupcakes and Jamie Oliver were to bake cupcakes, Jamie Oliver's cupcakes would look much more like this, whereas mine would end up being a sloppy mess. Here's another way of looking at it, right? I always use the analogy of doctors. I happen to have a few friends who are doctors and it's always irked me a little bit and I give them kind of a bit of crap for this. Why is it that you can get through medical school by scoring 51 on every exam? Now, theoretically you've passed, right? But you've only just passed. Now, if you were about to get open heart surgery, which would you prefer? The doctor who's just passed every exam or the doctor who stayed up very, very late at night and got high distinctions all throughout university and has practiced on many, many, many patients is very experienced at doing this and has a really good reputation. Now, they both have the same certificate on their wall. They're both doctors of medicine, but one is clearly more preferential to the other. And it's exactly the same with lubricant specs. Everyone can meet CK4, but there are other companies that go above and beyond. They exceed the specs by some margin, and you're gonna get better performance out of lubricants that exceed the specs. So, yes, you can create an oil with just base oils and additives. However, not all oils are created equal.